Hi everyone, today I am doing a fresh summer makeup using a lot of coral colors. This is the final look that I would be recreating in this tutorial. I love corals and I think they are really flattering on Indian skin so I hope you will enjoy this video. Starting with the makeup, I am going to use two primers today. First I am using the Clinique primer and then I am going to use the Color Bar primer only on the areas where I have large pores because that helps in minimizing pores. So I'm applying the Clinique Super Primer. I'm using the Universal variant. This just uh, gives a nice smooth canvas for the foundation to apply on and also extends the wear time of the foundation. It doesn't give much oil control though, but my skin is slightly dry at the moment, so that's not um, a worry for me. Once I've blended this out, I'm going to apply the second primer only on the areas where I have the large open pores because that is just going to minimize the look of the pores and I'm using the Color Bar Perfect Match Primer. The Color Bar Primer has a lot of silicone in it so it feels a little slippery. It gives a very smooth poreless look to the skin but too much of it can make the skin a bit greasy. For foundation, I'm going to mix a little bit of a liquid highlighter in my foundation. I'm using the YSL Touche Clad foundation today and I've mixed a little bit of the Benefit Girl Meets Pearl highlighter. You can mix any liquid highlighter, just a tiny amount and this will just give a nice soft glow to your face. If you don't have access to the Benefit highlighter, you can also use something like the Chambord Sheer and Liquid Highlighter. Just add a half a pump of it in your foundation or you can also try the Revlon uh, Skin Lights Liquid Highlighter. Coming to concealer, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer today. I use the shade NC42 and I'm using a Color Bar eyeshadow brush to apply this. This brush is really excellent for any kinds of cream and liquid products. It just blends them really well. I'm applying the concealer all around my eye. This concealer is really good if you want something high coverage and long lasting. It doesn't melt down uh, with the heat or with sweat and I believe the Pro Long Wear foundation from MAC is also really good for this. I've not tried it personally but I've heard it's quite long wearing. As you can see I'm also using this concealer around the mouth area as that really just sort of conceals the pigmentation of the mouth area. Most of us tend to have a bit of darkness around the nose and mouth and using a concealer in that area just uh, evens out your face a little bit more. This is also excellent for blemishes because it's not greasy, it dries down to a matte finish. To set everything I'm using a compact powder. This is the Lacme Absolute Face Stylist Compact and the shade I use is Rose Fair. This is a really nice light powder and it's really great for setting foundation and concealer. Next, I'm going to start my eye makeup. First, I'm going to use this matte brown, sort of a medium brown color. This is Latte from Makeup Geek. I'm using a dome shaped brush and applying this along my crease line. Next, I'm going to take a darker color. This is Mocha, also from Makeup Geek. And I'm going to use this to sort of intensify the crease and the outer V of the lid. I really like the matte brown eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. I think they have a lot of different colors, different shades, medium, dark, sort of orangey ones, more cool toned ones. And they just work really well with my complexion. They are quite pigmented. They blend out really well. They don't get patchy. They don't sheer out when you blend them. And they're just overall really good matte eyeshadows. I've just sort of intensified um, and really defined that outer V of the eye and uh, about two thirds of the crease line and I'm now going to line my lower waterline with a kajal. This is the color bar just smoky kajal in the shade black. And for the lower lash line I am once again using the color mocha, the dark brown that I used in the crease. And I'm using an angled brush to apply it very precisely along the lower lash line. Not taking it all the way in, just going to leave the inner corner and tear duct area. If you want to give a little more blended effect to this, you can add the medium brown eyeshadow just below the part where you applied mocha. The medium brown color I had used was Latte from Makeup Geek. For the lid, I'm going to use this really pretty sort of rose gold color. This is Grand Stan and this is one of the foil eyeshadows from Makeup Geek. This is the first time I'm using it. I haven't tried any of the foil eyeshadows so far. 
um, I'm using a body shop brush to apply this but I think fingers work a little bit better with these you just get the maximum pigmentation with fingers so I've just used my fingertip to apply this and I've not applied it all the way to the end of the lid I have just sort of left that outer corner and I'm just blending back the matte eyeshadows in the crease to make sure there are no uh, harsh lines to highlight, I'm going to use the shade Shima Shima also from Makeup Geek. It's a really pretty highlighter, like um, a soft sparkly beige color, not sparkly exactly, more like a shimmery color. I'm using this in the inner corner and I'm also going to blend a little bit of this on the brow bone. Coming to the upper lash line, I'm using the color bar Just Smoky Kajal to line the upper lash line. And once I've done that, I'm going to use an angled brush with a little bit of matte brown eyeshadow mocha to just blend and soften that liner. Coming to the brows, I'm going to use the Shiseido Brow Styling Compact in medium brown to fill in any gaps in my eyebrows. I'm using the Color Bar Angled Brush. The lashes I'm using the Maybelline Big Eyes Mascara. I don't particularly like the upper side of this, the upper lash wand, but the lower lash wand is really good. It's really slim and thin and just um, applies the mascara really well on the lower lashes. I'm going to apply a pair of false eyelashes. These are the Naomi lashes from Ardell and they are quite dramatic but I really like how they look. You can buy these either from nika.com or jabong.com in India. So my lashes are on. I'm now going to come back to the face. I'm going to use a bit of bronzer and I'm using the Bahama Mama bronzer from The Balm. It's a really nice satin finish bronzer. It's got slightly grayish tone. It's not too orangey. It's not too pigmented. It's slightly on the sheer side. So it's really easy to apply and you can see it just warms up my skin without adding too much color or without making my face look all orangey. I'm also applying a little bit of fade along my jawline. Next, I'm going to use the shade Summer Fling. This is a blush from Makeup Geek. It looks a bit washed out here, but it's actually a really pretty deep peachy coral kind of color. It's got a satiny matte finish. And you'll see how it adds a really pretty pop of coral to my cheeks. I've worn this blush a couple of times recently and it's it's a really good formula. It's not too pigmented, it's quite buildable and um, it just looks so nice on the skin, doesn't settle into pores or anything and it stays really long as well. To highlight the cheeks, I'm using the Mary Luminizer from The Balm, which is like my current favorite highlighter. You've seen me use it in pretty much all my tutorials this month. I'm applying this along the cheekbones, a little bit on the bridge of the nose and the cupid's bow. Once blended out, it just gives a really nice lit from within kind of glow, doesn't look very obvious on the skin. Coming to the lips, I'm using a peachy nude lip liner. This is the shade Boldly Bare and it's from MAC. You can use any nude, uh, warm nude lip liner or a peach or a coral lip liner. And the last step is lipstick. I'm using this one from Maybelline. This is from the Bold Matte Collection and the shade is Matte 2. It's a really pretty bright coral color. If I apply this without a lip liner on my bare lips, it looks a little more pinker on me. But once I've used like a warm nude or a peachy nude lip liner, it just uh, shows its true color which is a bright coral on my lips. It's a really nice formula, it's quite uh, moisturizing and feels quite smooth and comfortable on the lips. And that is the finished look, a bright summer look, not too bright though, it's quite wearable I think. I love using uh, corals for the summer and I think they are really nice on Indian skin. So I hope uh, you will try out this look and if you try it out, let me know how it turns out. Thank you so much for watching and if you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you soon in my next video. Bye.